Hi friends! Today we are going to draw a Easter basket. So you can grab a pencil, a marker, you can even grab a color pencil, whatever you would like to draw with. Now I will say a pencil, like your regular number two pencil that you use at school, will be helpful because you'll be able to erase any lines that you do not want. So we're going to start with this large upside down U like this. Actually, I'll, I'll need to, I'm going to darken that with a different pencil so you can see it better. So we'll use this one here. And yep, you'll just create your upside down U. That's going to be the handle to your Easter basket. And we'll need to connect those two lines with a slightly curved line so it's not completely straight. There's a little curve in the middle. And now to draw the bottom part of the basket, we're going to draw another, well actually it'll be like a C, a large C. We're going to draw, we'll start here, and we're going to end the line here. So we'll start here, just think of a curved line or a C, like so. And then I'm going to come over here to make it a little easier and connect it and draw another curved line or a C. And I'm just gonna erase, so with drawing with a pencil, I can erase that little line there. And we're gonna draw a, a smaller or slimmer, thinner line going all the way around for our handle and connecting it to the bottom, or like so. And the next step, we'll draw our Easter eggs inside the basket. And so I would say just think of drawing more upside down U's. So here's one, and then here, and then we'll draw, I'll put one here. I'll start from there because they're, they're eggs and they're hidden behind each other, or sitting behind each other so you're not able to see the all the sides so to to think of drawing the rest of them you can just think of oh i'm drawing little hills so you're drawing little hills behind each other so here's a hill and here's another hill and they also could be like i said upside down U's. so there we have it our eggs in our basket and just to add a final detail, I will add a bow here. So to add a bow, and you do not have to add a bow, I'm just gonna put this circle, just erasing the inside lines. And again, this is your Easter basket, this is your art. You can decorate it however you please. I'm just gonna add this bow, just in case if anyone's interested. So you'll start with the circle here, and then on for the side of the bow, we're gonna bring a curve line out like that, I'm gonna bring one at the bottom. So I'll just bring it out and then curve it. And to connect those, just a straight line. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, up and out and curved. So almost like a hook or another line, and would just bring that right into the bow. And the bottom of the ribbon, I do a straight line there and then a C, a upside down C right there. Then I'll bring a straight line right into that point to connect it to the bow. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side, a straight line here, and then a upside down C, and then a straight line into the bow to connect it. Look at there. And I'll just add some more detail to the basket. And that you do that with lines. So we'll do another curved line here, a, a smaller curved line here, and one more at the bottom, just like so. And then some, some lines going down, one, another one going towards the middle, and then on the other side going towards the middle, and another curved line going down like that. And there we have it, our Easter basket. And remember, you don't have to add the lines. You can do whatever you'd like for your piece of art and for your Easter basket. It doesn't have to have a bow and it doesn't have to have the lines and you can color it any way you want. Remember, art is what you want it to be and it does not have to be perfect. So remember that and have fun, create it, add your own personal details and I can't wait to hear how you enjoyed this video down in the comments and what colors you picked for your Easter eggs and basket. Until next time, friends.